Hello, Grumpy Old Fart here. Um, I'm going to do a series review uh, on uh, a TV series called Apparitions. Um, we, I believe we watched it on uh, Amazon Prime. Now, the, the name of the series is Apparitions. And we, uh, we initially started to, to watch it. We were looking for something new to watch, a new series or something. And we like ghost hunting and, you know, the dead files. You've seen my video on that. On, uh, uh, I, I did a review of it, I think, on, on uh, paranormal programs. But the point I'm getting at is, it's hard to find good TV series these days. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of it is all, I don't know, leftist crap. And a lot of it is just, uh, they don't put a lot of thought into it. And they're, they're just slapping the stuff together and trying to make something, you know, stuff blowing up and people getting shot and all. And we wanted something we could watch as a family. And this, we, we like ghost hunting and things like that. So we saw this apparition, so we figured we'd give it a try. It is not about ghost hunting. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's about a priest who ch essentially chases demons. He's an exorcist. Uh, it is, oh my God, wonderful. Um, normally, I don't go in for extremely re religious programs that, that you know, hammer the, the point home but this doesn't do that this is really well written it's well sourced it's well re uh, researched i should say um it it delves into religion and if you're I, i'm a christian and i do believe i'm not a, i'm not a, i'm not a catholic i'm a southern baptist however i do believe demons exist and i believe I, somebody's got to get rid of them and an exorcism is the guy to go to i guess my point is um this doesn't throw religion in your face and shove it down your throat. This guy's a priest, but he's a regular guy, if, if that makes any sense. He's... He's a person. He has flaws. He has character. There's character development in the course of this. The writing is really good. The plot's good. The story arcs are great. The storyline is good. Uh, there's nothing about this that I didn't like. Okay? Some of it's just out and out scary. And which is what you want in... in uh, if you're watching something called Apparitions and you don't expect to get scared at some point, you, you're watching the wrong program. Well, this this is this is some freaky stuff going on. As, as, you know, um, Some of it is scary. Some of it is... Some of it is a little gory, but it's not it's not over the top. Um, I would recommend that if you you know if you're going to watch this with your kids, you know make sure you, there's some context there and you, you you talk to them about it because it delves into some subject matter that's a little uh, it's not adult, but it's a little uh, mature, you know. Um, but it really is great. It's a great show in all aspects. It, uh, from what I can tell, they did one season and they should have done more. Oh my God, they should have done more. This is a wonderful, wonderful series. Even the minor characters are good in this. Uh, there's there's character development with a lot of the minor characters because they change their minds and they become heroes, for lack of a better term. You know, they're, 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 they're kind of hesitant and then they come to their boom and, and they step up. Okay. One of them, one of the characters is, is, is assigned... To keep an eye on him and on, on the priest and she ends up helping him so you know it, 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 she comes to her senses and does the right thing there's character development in this and it's wonderful uh, as a writer that's kind of the thing I look for okay um, the writing the casting the storyline the research it, it, the research is impeccable here the plot the story arcs Character development, acting, it's all top-notch. There's nothing about this I didn't like. It's brilliant. And I, I use that, I don't use that about everything. I've seen some crappy shows out there. This is brilliant. This is this was a refreshing change of pace. Uh, the stars, Martin Shaw, he plays Father Jacob. Uh, Rick Warden, he's, he's, uh, he plays a guy that's demon-possessed. Uh, John Shrapnel, he, uh, he's a priest with uh, political aspirations to become the Pope. 
uh, I'm not gonna, I don't, I don't want to ruin it for you if you, if you want to watch it because I highly recommend it. It's really good. Uh, I don't know how you pronounce this name. S i o b h a n, Soibin, Siobin, Shobin, Finnerin. My wife has seen her in. I, I think she said Downton Abbey, but she's a really good actress, and I, I love the character. Really great character development with her. Uh, Luigi Deberti. De this this is probably my favorite uh, character in the series. This guy was a bad guy, but I, he's not my favorite because he was a bad guy. He's my favorite because of the way they wrote him. This guy, if there was a reason to forsake, I don't know. I guess forsake God would be too strong of a word, but if there was a reason to dislike God, this guy had it. This character had the, had a good reason, and I'm not going to tell you why, but you gotta you gotta check it out. He was. Uh, I'll tell you. I'll tell you a little part of it. <clears throat> he was in Auschwitz, and he saw his family die. And for those of you who don't know, Auschwitz was a death camp the Nazis during World War II. So, if if this if uh, if if you were in Auschwitz at that time, yeah, you you might question your faith a little bit, uh, anyway, especially given that the the uh, Catholic, the Pope at the time, uh, you can say whether he was or not, but he was perceived to be uh, supporting the Nazis, I, I think. I think that's what, he, what, what the thing was. But my point is, this character played by Luigi Deberti, I think, he's Italian, he's a really great actor. I can see his point of view. I, I he, I don't agree with it, but I can understand why he would turn his back on God. Um, Michelle Joseph's in it, Sarah Jane Steed, Federico Natoli, Sean Dooley, David Giasil, G-Y-A-S-I-L, and Nico Tafoli. A lot of these people I have never heard of, but oh my God, they're great actors and actresses. They are so good. They... If you have a really great script and you got crappy actors, they're going to kill it. If you have really great actors, can take a crappy script and make it better. But it's it's a chore for them to do so. In this, you have a really great script and really great actors. Even if you don't know, you know if they're unknowns, but they're really great. Man, it just it blends and you get a really great series. And that's what they did here. Um, there's only one season, but damn, it was good. They should have made more. Uh, it managed to be pro-God without being preachy or campy. It's very religiously accurate and fact-based. Okay, historically accurate. Uh, ultimately, it's about faith. And there's a couple of really, there's a, a good line here um, in this show. And it's something that, that we all need to be aware of, especially if you're a religious person. Faith needs to be tested from time to time. Okay, uh, the guy says, uh, "Take it out and give it. To, take it out for a spin once in a while." Your faith needs to be tested. My this now this next part is my opinion. My opinion is that untested faith, in my opinion, is blind faith, and that is a very dangerous thing. If you have faith in something and you don't know why, and you're, it's not tested. To me, that's blind faith, and you that that that's more dangerous than not having faith. But anyway, back to the back to the show. This is this is a really good show. It's called Apparitions. I highly recommend it. And if if you're looking for something to watch that that just will scare the bejesus out of you, there you go. You folks have yourself a good day. God bless one and all.